Are you really, is this a real question? And so is Jesse in fact ready? The answer that I'm gonna give is in fact going to surprise you. Coach Greg, in today's video, should you use steroids? For the most part, everyone knows you shouldn't be using steroids, but when, in fact, is it the right time? In today's video, we're gonna examine Jesse. Jesse from Athlean X. He, in fact, wants to do steroids, and I'm gonna answer, is he ready? Has he been training long enough? Let's get right into it. Okay, fine, it's from Lessie Jaco. Oh my God, is this you for real? Yes, it's me. Are you really, is this a real question? And so how is Athlean X surprised? Of course he's thinking about steroids. Anyone who's trained for five plus years and has never contemplated about using steroids, that is a rare person. Most people have thought about using steroids and the reasons, they're obvious. Clearly, you're going to put on more muscle, but we all aware of the side effects. Yeah. The interest in steroids has increased because the normalization of steroids has also increased because of social media. Athlean X points out that more more people than ever before are using steroids. And so the fear mongering, telling people about the side effects, the fact that it's dangerous, that it's bad for you and so on, that does nothing in order to stop most people. And so is Jesse in fact ready? The answer that I'm gonna give is in fact going to surprise you. Wait till the end. What are the, the deeper ramifications of this? And what are the deeper considerations that are leading you to even think this way. And so if you watch Athlean X's video and if you're watching mine, I want you to be aware of specific questions that you should answer yourself before you contemplate using steroids. The first is, have you trained at least five years in the gym? If you haven't trained for at least five years, you have plenty of gains left on the table and you don't need to use steroids. Save steroids for when you can't make any more progress. And so Jesse, he's trained for 5.5 years. He's gained over 25 pounds of muscle, yet he's still not satisfied. And sorry, Jesse, sorry to be a bear of bad news, but if you don't like the way you look right now after gaining 25 pounds of muscle, you're not gonna be impressed even if you train another five years. And so if you're just in your first few years of training, then you have no business taking steroids. The second, are you at least 25 years of age? It takes until the age of 25 for your brain to fully develop. Until age 25, you have no business taking steroids. And so, so far, Jesse is in fact 30 years of age. He's been training for over five years. And so, so far, he is in fact a candidate. Are you proud of your strength gains? Yes. Do you realize that a 560 pound deadlift, that what is your body weight? 165. At 165 pounds is an astronomical deadlift. And so Athlean X is trying to convince Jesse not to take steroids by saying he has a great deadlift and a great squat. All Jesse's going to hear is, I don't have a great bench press. And is being very strong without steroids gonna be a motivational tool to tell somebody to not use steroids? It's in fact the exact opposite. I was a national champion powerlifter, way stronger than Jesse, and you know what that did? It made it more tempting to want to use steroids, and why? Because I wanted to see how strong I could get. If you're really good at something, you're gonna be motivated to get even better. If you have an amazing physique and you've done so through natural training, imagine what you'd look like if you were enhanced. And so saying to Jesse, well, aren't you proud of your strength? Aren't you amazed with how much strength you've gained in the past five years? All it's going to do is say, yeah, I'm impressed. But I've looked around, I scroll on social media, and I see people who've done far better. I want to be one of those guys. I want to lift a lot more. You have achieved a lot. And those out there, and there are plenty out there, way more out there that are supporting you than have bashed you. And so think of this. If you're watching this at home and you're far weaker than Jesse, you don't have as much muscle as Jesse, you're not as jacked as Jesse, you're weaker than Jesse, should those people now take steroids? You're saying, Jesse, don't take steroids because you can deadlift over 500 pounds, you can squat over 400. What if you can only deadlift 250 pounds and only squat 130? Should that person take steroids? And so saying, well, you're very strong and you're natural, do you think that's even a lick of motivation for somebody to remain natural? I don't think so. You yeah. made those achievements. Those are yours and yours only. If you had done that enhanced, what percentage of that strength gain would you attribute to the steroids. But do you really think that matters? If Jesse were now to go on steroids and his deadlift were say 550 pounds, and in a year from now it were 700 pounds, he'd say, well, probably almost 150 pounds were from the steroids. But do you think he would care? It would mean nothing. Why would he care? 
Do you think that Chris Bumstead is standing there as the five-time Mr. Olympia champion thinking, yeah, 24 and a half pounds of this muscle was probably from the steroids. I don't know how much it was. And so I, I regret it. It's so saddening. I don't know what percentage of it was because of me and what percent was because of the steroids. Or do you think he's thinking, I'm a multi-millionaire and look at my friggin' biceps. And so saying you don't know what percentage is going to be attributed to the steroids and what is on your own, it means nothing. These are not motivational quotes to help Jesse to avoid taking steroids. Some percentage of that would be, would be attributable to steroids. What if, it yeah. was, what if in your mind everything was attributed to steroids? Then what is the value of that achievement? Let's say 100% of the muscle that Sam Sulik got was from taking steroids. Sam Sulik is going to think, I'm sure as glad I took steroids. Saying that most of the gains were from the steroids and not from your own personal self-achievement, that is not motivation to stop taking steroids. That's motivation to take even more steroids. To what level of fulfillment will you have even when you get them. And if the fulfillment's not there, I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna matter because we'll talk about it later, more is never enough. What Jeff's saying here, which is correct and what you should consider is, more is not gonna be enough. No matter how good you get, you're gonna want more. Think of it, and I can attest this from personal experience. As good as I got as a natural, these are significant gains. This, to me, is an outstanding physique. And so you might be thinking, why would you ever take steroids if you already look that good? Well, the reason is because it's never enough. I had been training for over 20 years and could no longer get any gains. I had achieved my natural limit. Not many people can say that, but I am one of the few. Trained hard enough, long enough, did all the things proper to get my ultimate physique. But it wasn't good enough. I always wanted more. And so another question you have to ask yourself is, can you improve more without taking steroids? And I'm telling you, if you haven't used Turk Builder or Geo2 Max and you're 100% natural and you're thinking about using steroids, don't take the steroids. Why would you do that? When you can make greater gains while remaining natural, why wouldn't you not take that route? And so before ever taking steroids, do the best you can while being 100% natural. Interested in Turk Builder, Geo2 Max, the list goes on and on. Code Greg, 15% off. Click the link in the description. You're doing it because something in you is not satisfied. It's an insecurity, it's that you're measuring yourself up against social media, yeah. which is the worst thing possible. And so Jeff has a point, but it's not 100% true. Anyone that's taking steroids is not because you're insecure, sometimes it's because you're chasing the dopamine. I wanted to do better, I wanted to improve. Bodybuilding was my life. I didn't think I had a shitty body that didn't measure up. I was literally the national champion, world amateur champion, natural. You really think I felt inferior, that I didn't like the way I looked? I even liked the way I looked now and I'm 48 freaking years old. And so not everyone that takes steroids is because they're trying to make up for having a small package or having a freaking Napoleon complex. Just because I like Neapolitan ice cream doesn't mean that I'm going to take steroids. And so sometimes taking steroids is the only way to do so. Yeah, you could go to a psychologist, counselor, try to figure things out and say, is there anything else I can do? And for me, what it was, was I'm going to get good at other sports. I can't keep improving in bodybuilding. I can't get any bigger. I'm an IFBB pro and I'm not going to be able to do this forever. I need to switch sports. I need to switch out and get my dopamine from somewhere else. And so it's in human nature to want to improve. So long as you're getting better, you should be enjoying the sport. And if you can't train 100% natural and enjoy the gains that you're making, then I'd argue that you're in the wrong sport. You perhaps should get some counseling. You should figure things out. And so if Desi is still getting better, his squat, bench, deadlift are continuing to go up and he's also putting on more size, then he should remain natural. But if he truly loves the sport and he's thought about this, and this is the next point, you have to have thought of it for at least one year. If you just woke up on Monday and said, nah, I feel like putting on some size, I'm going to take some tests and trend. You haven't done enough thinking. You need to think about it for an entire year. If for an entire year you've put off using steroids, you've done your research, you've looked at the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly, and after a year you still want to do it, then well, heck, 
Who am I to say no? You've waited till past the age of 25. You've been training for at least five years. You've thought it for at least one. You know the pros and the cons. And you've used all the natural supplements you can. Then for me, that person, well, if of anyone, that person is ready. Now remember, never break the law and only do so with the advice and consent of your doctor. And so if it's not legal in your country and the doctor says, no, this is not healthy for you, your body type, it just can't handle it, then of course say no. I get accused of being a natty virtuer. If there is no virtue to natural, then why is there all the interest in Natty or Not videos? And so this is a great point by Jeff. There is virtue in being natural. If Jesse were on steroids, let's say he had 25 pounds more muscle, of course he's gonna look bigger. Of course he's gonna look stronger. But everyone's gonna know he's on steroids. And so if he remains natural, he can at least say, look, I may not be as big as Larry Wheels, I may not be as strong, but I'm natural. Why do you think so many people want to watch Natty or Not videos? Why do you think I make them? Because people really want to know. And so if they know that you're enhanced, they're immediately going to say, yeah, but you're enhanced. As soon as they know you've taken steroids, you're not as impressive as if you're natural. And so if you're deciding to take steroids, remember this, you now are being compared to everyone on steroids. You might have a 550 pound deadlift and you're 165 pounds, but if you're suddenly 200 pounds, people are going to say, you only deadlift 700? Aren't you on steroids? That's not impressive. I see this guy do 800. This guy does 900. But if you remain natural, you're being compared to a natural pool. They're assigning a value to like, wow, that's what he looks like and that's natural? Well, then that's really good. There's some additional value to it having been achieved naturally. It's not discredited, it's pursued. And so there is in fact extra value to achieving a physique while being natural. When I show and post my old physiques of when I was natural and people say, there's no way you did that natural. You are a fake natty. Do you know how good that makes me feel? Just as good if not more when people look at my enhanced photos and say, wow, look at your physique. And so please consider that. I'm telling you from experience because I've done this. I've trained natural for over 20 years. I abused steroids for over 10 and I'm now on HRT only for approximately five years. And so I've done it all. I can tell you that when I was natural, I was very proud of being natural and I waited till the last possible second to start using steroids. I squeezed every bit of muscle out of my body by training natural. I did it all. And if I would have continued to make improvements while being natural, I would have kept going. Only Michael Hearn that I'm aware of, perhaps The Rock, the only guys that 100% natural, continue to make gains into their 50s. And so for me, when I was in my 30s, that is when I started using steroids. Or Lessie Jaco should go and pursue anabolic steroids knowing what your depression and anxiety history is. Probably not. I mean, we've seen Dr. Mike with the crippling anxiety. <laughs> Does that look like something you want to get from using steroids? Everyone's aware of the negative things it can do to your body, the fact it can take years off your life, but what about how it makes you feel mentally? Even Fuad Abiyad said he felt like crap for 20 years. The only time he felt good was the one hour he was in the gym. Every other part of the day while taking steroids, he hated it. What if I gave you a magic pill right now today? And I said, here, Jesse, here you go. And you woke up tomorrow morning and you had 20 pounds more muscle. Two days after that, you wake up again and it's all gone. That is some of the reality steroids. And what Jeff's speaking about here is that once you start taking steroids, it's very hard to go off. Once you've added this, let's say 20 pounds of muscle, do you really think you're just going to stop? Oh, I'll just do one cycle. You do one cycle, you put on 10 pounds of muscle, and then you lose it. Do you know how deflating it is, how embarrassing, how shitty it feels to go to the gym every single week and get weaker? I know exactly how that feels. It's not fun. You need a lot of mental fortitude to be able to handle this. And so if you do, in fact, decide to go on steroids, realize that you're probably going to have to do that forever. If you ever stop, you're going to lose the gains. And so what do most people do? They go to the gym, they use steroids, and then when they quit the steroids, they quit the gym. And why? Well, why do you think? Do you really think it's fun to be in the gym bench pressing 225 pounds, take steroids, and suddenly a few years later, you're benching 405, feeling incredible. And then every week after that, you lose five pounds. 
you're suddenly now unable to bench press 300 pounds. You remember the 405, it's not as fun. And so I remember all of this. I remember being the strongest guy in the gym at any gym I went to. I had national records, world records, Guinness records, and so on. Now I go to the gym, oftentimes there are people who lift far heavier than me. And so it's not quite as fun. I'm lucky. I go to the gym for the health aspect. I like to look good. I also like to feel good. But I've pivoted in terms of where I'm getting dopamine. I enter a Zwift bike race. I have fun. I make gains in other aspects. I read books. I no longer watch TV. And so I've completely changed what I do to get my dopamine. Many people, they're unable to do so. You think about it at a deeper level with more of the introspective reasons of why you even consider this in the first place, you start to get to the bottom of the actual answers of why you would. And when you realize that, you realize it's probably not worth it. And so if you still have gains left on the table that you can make, you could get, for example, my cookbook, read my circle diet book, also have training books. Are you sleeping enough? Are you training hard? Have you been consistent in the gym for a minimum of five years? If you haven't, you have no business taking steroids. And if you're a teenager, what's wrong with you? You have so many years ahead of you getting newbie gains. Take advantage of those. Once you use steroids, you're not going to want to stop. Interested in any of the supplements, the cookbooks, and so on, code Greg, 15% off. Click the link in the description. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algo. Don't forget to write and leave a comment. Also watch one of those two bloops. If you have no money, get the free diet and training program. It's on my website. Join the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers. If you're interested in the harder than last time clothing line, get the tank tops, the hoodies, the jogging pants, the shorts, t-shirts, everything on the website. And until next time, I am out.